Hey, it's me. Look at this mess behind me. You guys have no concept of the explosion that happened in this room today. But my mom, look who it is. Hi, you, you showed up and I curled my hair. You always love when I curl my hair. This music is so not loud for you, but it's so loud for me. Look at this popcorn my mom gave me. It's really good. I'm gonna eat the whole bag. I'm really excited about it. Thank you. Hello. Hi, everybody. We've had a heck of a week. This is a disaster of a room. We're glitching like crazy. Our bit rate is just awful. It's fine. We're going to play a new game. I can't find my mouse on any of the screens either. That seems a little bit better. Everyone refresh. That'll be fine. We're going to play the game that we were intended to play last week. We're not going to talk about what happened last week. Um, I'm still very confused about so many of the details of it. Whatever, okay? We're here to have a good time. Not be here for a long time, okay? So let's play a game. Also, I got ready looking this sleigh, you would not believe, in like 20 minutes. Thanks for the prime sub, babe. <laughs> Get you a man who gives you his prime sub. This game. Okay, here's the tea. Here's the tea about this game. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody, shut up. We, I may, I may have already played this whole game. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I did complete this game already. But it's because we were supposed to play it last week. And I needed to play it. I needed to play it. I waited two freaking years for this game to came up, come out. I had to play it. And I thought it would be a lot longer. 
and I finished it in like not long. So the excitement is lessened, but guess what? The gameplay is elite because I know what the fuck I'm doing for once. Something unheard of on this channel. Yes, we will just start the game over. I already did the whole game. Are y'all ready? This game is so cute. Yeah, I finished the whole game already. Which also, Aaron and I together completed the Princess Peach game as well. Almost, I think in like the main storyline, we completionist 100 percented it. Talk about a power couple. The music in this game is great. The storyline is beautiful. Okay, ready everyone? We're old. They just say Somerset because they want it to be mysterious. You find out later in the game we're, we're English. We're having, we're having beans and toast and jacket potatoes for dinner. And, and it's so... Okay, yeah, I am missing out on so much content. Tell, tell Aaron to pick up my streaming setup and put it at his house because that's where I be all the time. We can't stream from there. It's just the thing. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, back to this. We're British. Everyone focus. Look how beautiful this game is. Are you joking? The stained glass? Who is she? Who is she? I die. She is looking... Slay. Shush. Quiet. On set. Okay? Look at these windows. We're rich as fuck. Do you understand that? It takes so much money. I worked so hard for these stained glass windows for y'all, okay? I nepotismed my way to these beautiful windows. They're gorgeous. And the plants, oh, I die. This is a Hartley. If, if y'all like gardening, you, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. We're British, so we gotta talk with our teeth now. Did you, that's if y'all need a an accent tip, just talk with your teeth. That's how you speak British. You just talk with your teeth out. Half Moon Joe taught me that. Okay, we're moving on. Look. Also, I will admit because I play every game on Switch, this one is probably best kept to your PC because playing where you have to try to do this we're gonna be doing this a lot okay it's fine okay and i will read everything for you you're so excited i can tell lady arabella was so happy to have you back at botany manor i hope you had a lovely trip in your absence i'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated though i can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order the staff around here Terrible. We're not paying them enough. We paid for the stained glass windows. We have no money left to pay the staff. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today, Bennett. And then we have a parcel. You ready for this? Our name is Arabella Green, and this is our book. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium. I don't know if this is pronounced herbarium. I think that's how you say it, but let me know. Back to us once you have completed your research and we'll be in touch with a potential offer. So she's writing a book, okay? And when I say she, I mean me. Okay, we're scientist Arabella Green, botanist to be specific, and we are writing a book in 1890 because we're old and we time travel. And we're going to write five chapters, okay? And right now it's empty, and the goal of the game is to fill the book about things about forgotten plants. That's the game. Are y'all ready for this? It's so cute. I can't even explain to you. 
You ready? We're about to go through our rich windows to start this beautiful game. You ready for this, people? Ah, everybody. Ah. Okay. I die. Look. Look at this. I forget what this is called. I knew it last week. This little purple flower. I want to say it's called Wisteria. I don't know. But it's blooming right now in the real world. Little did you know. Okay, so we pick up seed packets. And then this is the flower we now have the seed for. It, windmill wort. I want to grow the windmill wort to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory, but I'll need to research its temperature requirements. So, we need to find clues around here about the plant. Okay? So we go around. Oh my god, I never updated my notifications, but thanks for the follow, HB Shanks. So we're looking around, you know? And we're like, mm, what's this? It says, windmill wart is a volcanic flower. Also, I was trying to look up how much of this game, how many of these flowers are real. And I can't tell if all of the flowers in this game are real. I know like half of them are real because I like gardening and I like flowers. So like, obviously daffodils are real, but I don't know if sword lilies are real or if checkered what does that say lily is real i have no idea oh my god it's okay to be fair thank you for coming over for tiktok this is not my first time playing this already i to be fair i got it the day it came out and already played it it's amazing i love this game so much it's like the perfect mixture of like puzzle and like being gardener, you know? Are they? So I think all the flowers in this game are real. I think these are all real flowers. But when I first started playing this game, I looked up windmill ward and everything that came up was just related to this game only. So I don't know. But so you look for clues and then you set them to the flower. So the goal is to find all the clues and that tells you what the flower needs so you can learn how to grow it. It's so genius. So like we just saw that it says volcanic flower. So we know it's a volcanic flower, but we don't know where we currently or where it grows. We know where we currently are. We're in this we're in Botany Manor. Of course we know where we are. What's this? I can barely see. We're in the Bronx. We're not in the Bronx. Okay. So, isn't it a joy? The art style's just gorgeous, too. They did such a good job. Marianne sent us a postcard. On my hike, I came across windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Now we know where we are. Or, now we know where it grows. I don't know why I keep saying, I, maybe I just don't know where I am. See, we're in England. That's why we have to talk about beans and toast and jacket potatoes. Okay, because we're in England. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. I don't know how this happened. How do you get smog pollution inside your greenhouse? That may be none of my business, but it is what it is. So now we have all the clues. We needed the postcard and the temperature chart. And when it's right, they dissolve into the paper. It's so beautiful. Okay, so then once you have all the clues, you need to put them together. So let's go, now you can grow the plant. So once you have everything, you should have everything you need to actually grow the seed. So we know the plant grows in Sicily and it's a volcanic flower so we gotta heat it up to 60 C that's hot in American okay y'all also I know how to do this because I've played this game but you just soil seed plant easy peasy 
Okay. We're Isn't that adorable? They put a little sign with it. Do you see the sign? It's so cute. Everything is so cute. Now we have our little seed leg. Oh, it's adorable. Okay. Now, isn't it? We're going to put it here by the heater. So you can always tell where the plants go because there's like little coasters, which because I exploded the basement today, where did I put it? This is how you know I garden. I have these in real life, real life. Don't look at the rest of this basement. It's crazy down here. Okay. Okay. So now we need to turn the heater on. Set it. What's it at? 20. We're going higher. Are you ever not making Cheeto mac and cheese? Would it say 60? It's getting hot in here, mama. Now we turn it on. You ready for this? It's so beautiful. And now there's no smog in here. Isn't that adorable? Oh my God. And now it's done. The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees C. The bud contains air purifying qualities so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. We need to put these everywhere. Now look how pretty it is in here. Now look at our rich people windows. I want to be British. Do all British people have this? And then the flower just kind of chills. Also, FYI, this pot is not big enough for this tree. Just so y'all know. All right, and now we're going to keep going out more gorgeous windows. You hear like the little birds chirping and everything? Oh my god. Look at this. This is what the outside looks like. And they put so much little detail into stuff. Also, everywhere in this game, you can sit and just take it in. I wish they had like an achievement for sitting in every chair in this game. I don't know why they put so many of them in, but they are gorgeous. The little mushrooms on the trees. Can I pick this up? Hello? Okay. Oh yeah, there's all these random books around. I picked them all up the last time. I also don't know what these are, but they're everywhere. They're like upside down bird baths. I don't know what that's about. Cause this is a right side up bird bath. They look very similar to me. All right, we're moving on. Everyone get in, we're moving along. Paved pathways, oh my God. We're so rich. Look at the hydrangeas. Look at where we're going, okay? Look at the everything. This is one of my favorite parts of this game. Okay. Look. Look at where we're going. L everyone look at where we're going. That's just like, they put that there just as like a little sneaky preview. That's so cute. Oh, y'all don't have a gatehouse? Oh, sorry. Sorry, poor. Y'all don't have a gatehouse? Welcome to Botany Manor. Ding! I also was so curious why the G is off of that. It's the first time I played this, I thought it was a clue. Ding! That's what I should have done. You get it. You get it. 
I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. I wrote this for myself and all I do is ring the bell and come in circles and come get the packages that I send to myself. A key to the entrance garden. Isn't this beautiful? We could never. We're Gen Z. We're, we're never gonna... Can you imagine? They would never approve us for a 30-year mortgage on this place. Everyone enjoy the birds. Look at the door dynamics, too. They, like, bounce back a little bit. Ugh. Appreciate... Look at this. You ready? Everyone just take this in for a minute, okay? The music. The building. It's beautiful. It's so peaceful. We're here to have peace today. Which is very unheard of on this channel. But today, look at that egg up there. I love that this is supposed to be a bush. Yeah, when they really render <laughs> as you get to them. But up there, yeah, they are little blobbies. Here's that hole that we found. Also, I don't know if y'all know this. These, like, planters, these concrete planters, they're like $8 billion, okay? Also, this is my cane. They don't let me take it. They just let me zoom in on it. It's definitely mine. My dear friend, good luck on your trip. I wouldn't have loved... Uh, oh, I wouldn't have. She said, don't invite me. I would have loved to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when we next meet. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others, whereas in botany... As in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend, always, Eleanor. And then we can sit. Don't you just... Ah. Uh, I just love it. Everything is so good. This looks like a duck. Oh, yeah. Maybe it is a duck. Oh, it's locked. Okay. We'll come back later. This place is massive. I don't think y'all are ready for how insanely massive this place is. Like... We will walk every inch of it. Also, my goal in life is to have as many potting stations around my house as... Who are we? Eleanor? Who are we? This green lady? I want to have as many plants, potting stations, as she does. Arabella. That's who we are. That's who we are. Okay. <clears throat> you ready? What accent should we do for this one? Who signed it? Elizabeth? Oh, this is our sister. Okay, this is what my sister sounds like. My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well, and as you set off for London on your important trip, the thought of you in the bustling city, working on your ambitious bu ambitions, both excites and worries me. This is my sister. Time has indeed passed, and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade. Like I said, we are old. 
I look forward to hearing about your progress, and of course, let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. We can't do this in a southern accent, if that's what you would call whatever the fuck I just did. Um, because it they wrote it too British. Look. Duck. Duck. You ready for our house? This is our house. Oh. I don't know why it came with a dead tree, but look at the ceiling. <gasps> Do y'all have glass ceilings? That's the whole point of the game. We're a woman in botany. We're breaking through this, okay? Breaking through this glass ceiling, mama. Also, they sell this jar at Home Goods, and I need it. Ooh, another letter. Lady Arabella Green, I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete, carefully tracing the history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the main names of the ladies in your family rather than the current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries are remain at your service the genealogist yossified our tree and now we it's feminist also there's someone on here What's Pen Ursula Pengilly? Who who did that? Adelaide, Agnes, Anna. Everyone's got Arthur. Everyone's got interesting names. Also, where are we? Arabella, down there. Never married. Slay. Who needs a man? Don't worry. Who needs a man when you have a chair to sit in? And look at the dead tree in your house. Who needs them? I also love when you come home and the fire's going. Oh, y'all hear that crackle? Hmm. Too good. It's too good. What's this? Movie poster. Oh, like all the little, I would have this artwork in my house. Every, why did I lock? This is my own house, is it not? Why do we lock every door? Pyrophiles. That's you, chat. Okay? That's you. Fire has the potential to be among the most devastating forces of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. If you ever go to Yellowstone, they teach you about that there. About how the trees catch on fire. And that's happy for them. Fun fact. Their seeds typically possess... Is that the right word? Possess through shells? Possess? Okay. Some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. Okay, I'll remember that. I won't remember that. Locked. Everything is locked in this place. What is this? The ghetto? Why are we locking all the doors within the own, our own house? 
Also, if we're not married, who do we have to hide it from? Also, why are there... Why can't we open these trunks? <clears throat> Seed. Bulgaria. Do you think that's it? Just, just everyone accept the fact that I'm going to pronounce everything wrong. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The pictures look a little blurry. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. Now we're a photographer. Okay? What skill do we not have? What can women not do? Truly. Wow, this one is terrible, Arabella. The picture is so dark, impossible to see the flowers. Get your glasses out, old. I can see them. I can see them there. You see them there. I can't believe how quickly I've run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. We're rich. Have you not seen our stained glass windows? You can buy some flash powder. That's the same one. Slay. Arabella said, next up, I'm mailing my Instagram profile in. Okay? We're going to get a jump start on that. That's coming next. Are y'all okay with the silence? I just kind of noticed it. I could put on some lo-fi because the music for the game kind of comes in and out. Just let me know. Wow, we have so many knickknacks. I love it. Oh, look at this rug. I like this rug. This is very nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Do y'all have a whole functioning chemistry lab? Y'all, this is the most I will use my chemistry degree in the last, like, four years since I graduated college. Almost five. This. Right here. I love that it's just like a seating room with a chemical wall. That's how you do it. And sit. It's just beautiful. I feel like they put chairs in all the spots that they took game photographs or something. Also, Snaps for the window texture. I mean, really. It's amazing. The art of painting. Do you think it makes sense to read about painting? I feel like you're supposed to paint to learn about painting. Maybe you should read. Like, that's like reading the instructions. But you know, do we learn by doing? Oh, the door pushed me out of the way. Okay. This lamp looks like it's made of wood. <gasps> I love these curtains. Maybe not so much with this purple bird, but I like these curtains. Okay, tall ceilings. Okay, pop off tall ceilings. Oh my god. Look. Look. Oh, it's beautiful. They got more of this shit from Home Goods. Oh my god. And that it's amazing. The little flame flickers, they're great. Bye. Have I hope your mac and cheese is good. We'll see you Sunday. Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced a coming of age ritual. This means that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. Did y'all have to do this? Y'all living outside, proving to your parents that you're old? That's what I do every single day when I come home. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods Though not just any flower, of course, the gatherer had to find the fulguria. For this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Okay, so we know we have fire flower, and now we have lightning flower. 
okay? We're, we're creating Marvel characters over here, it feels like. I don't know anything about Marvel, really, but that's just the, that's the vibe I'm getting, you know? Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Okay, let me just, let's fill in some of our hints. Okay, so clue, this is definitely, so we just said, Forguria is that. And this is going to be the fire one. And the lightning thing has to do with the photographs. Okay. Next room. Oh, a piano. Are you kidding? A, pian a whole piano in here? That's amazing. Arabella and Elizabeth. Are you kidding? Family photos. She said that cost me $1,100 in flash powder. So, of course, I'm keeping it and you're going to pick it up and look at it. Don't worry, y'all. You can sit in this wooden chair or that wooden chair. Who needs this many seats? I guess they didn't have television back then, so they actually spoke to each other in the living room. But this still feels like a very unbalanced... The feng shui in here is off. Like, you can just feel it. Can you not? It's unbalanced. It's unbalanced. Your new Lumen photographic flash lamp. I don't like how that's worded. It is what it is. Fill the container with flash power. Close the container. Press the button. Witness a bright flash. Wouldn't it be like, take the picture? It's giving, it's giving Jake Paul. If you know, you know. Hopefully you don't know. Camera. Okay. Camera. I wish we could pick up the magnifying glass. Get some Nancy Drew going in here. Lady Arabella, these past weeks I have been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely, as they think a storm must be coming. Well, your cows are dumb. Charles, I hate to break it to you, your cows are dumb. And that's not on me. That's not on me, okay? That's not on me. My milk production has taken... Uh, I. We need to pick an accent. We need to pick an accent. Get it together, everyone. We need to pick an accent. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Do y'all drink milk in your tea? I like a little milk in my tea. Not all tea. Not all of it. Not like ginger tea. Like when your tummy's upset. I'm not putting milk in it then. But like, ooh, like an Earl Grey with a little splash of milk. Oh my god. That'll make your pussy throb. Okay. Empty flash powder. Highly combustible. Is that how you spell combustible? Or is that British? Combust evil? Am I crazy? Okay. Potassium and magnesium. Two to one. Alright, baby. Let's make some flash powder. Scare these cows. Okay. To the back terrace. So we lock all these doors, but then we just leave the keys around? Then what's the point of locking them? What's the point? Okay. Two potassium. That says phosphorus. One. Two. And a magnesium. 
Thank you for putting them right next to each other. Do we stir it? Bonus points if you know what this flask is called. I do because I paid for a chemistry degree. We're just gonna take the whole damn beaker. All right, will, the, will this all fit in here? Is this a liquid? This seems so unsafe. It is 1890 though, so what is safe? Hmm. Maybe we sit that down. Okay. We have nothing to take a picture of. I need to plant the flower. I'm all ready to take a picture. Ooh, can I finish my clues? We have flash lamp, the farmer, and the flash powder. All right, let's take a picture of a plant, y'all. What's this? Do you all know you can get these made at Disney World? I bet that's where she got these. I bet Arabella flew in 1890 to the non-existent Disney World and got these done. Of her mom and ma and pa. Mom and, mom and what is dad in British? Is it like mom and pa? I don't think it's pa. That's not it. Seed. Water. Cute. Come on, plant. I love when we hold things. Where are we going? This way. We're gonna take your picture. It's school picture day. And you're going in this cute little tray. Wow, so nice out. I love being rich. Do I need to do anything with this? No? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Say cheese. Wow, that exploded in our house. Oh my god. Wait, I wanted to see it. Is this flower not giving Tron? The Fulgaria only grows during thunderstorms where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Look at it! Look at it like little swaying. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, yay. Okay. Two down. Next one. Where'd we get a key to? The back terrace. Where's the door to that? We have so many doors. And we can't even get to all of them because this giant tree we somehow let in the house is in the way. Back terrace. I wish this music would play all the time. I love the clouds. Locked. Ugh. Citrus in England? Y'all ever heard of the weather in England? They're not growing citrus. Who's having tea out here? Where'd we get this umbrella? Anthropology? This is so nice. Am I just leaving all this shit around my yard? Do y'all notice how much stuff I leave everywhere? I'm leaving half a sandwich everywhere. This can't be me. This is my staff who let my house get into disarray, even though they were here the whole time. Ooh, another book. 
Flowering Plants by Ann Pratt. I love these pillows. Wow. It's even shaded correctly. Appreciate how they did that, y'all. There's nothing over here. Okay. We came to see that book. Don't worry. And that sandwich we left out eight months ago before we came, before we left for our trip. The shadows. So good. A note. Ooh, a seed. This might be a tough case to crack. Seed log. Wisman's Woods is where they got the ash plume. Okay, so that's definitely a clue. All we have left is that poster, though. So that... That has to go here, right? This is gonna be locked. Of course it is. We're going this way. What's this? My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine has... A friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels. She should go to any university on in the whole place of the United States. There's plenty of squirrels. They are the latest trend in garden decorations. All of my neighbors have sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full. These are real squirrels. In my mind, I was like... Oh, this'll be fun. They got two concrete squirrels, like gray squirrels. Or they killed the squirrels and stuffed them, because that's like a rich people thing, probably. And they put them in their yard. No, they got them. And they killed out all the red squirrels. What? Rich people are so weird. That... Look at that. They did. They said... Invasive species, that bitch. Is this a door? It looks like a plank. Like, it would fall straight down to the ground. Like a- like to cross a moat. These are the only appropriate way to use an arbor body. Okay? And I'll die on that hill. Potatoes! Why are we leaving shit all over the place on this property? But why are we locking the doors if we're leaving the key to the kitchen in the backyard? What's going on in the House of Commons? That's all I gotta say. Why are we chopping onions? The kitchen is all the way over there. Who comes out here to look at our rich people view to chop onions? This is a Shrek-ass charcuterie board. You better get your shit together, okay? And that's on period, sis. Kitchen notes. Thursday. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Jimmy said, okay, strong. Jimmy said, who can take me? Jimmy said, not this mortar and pestle, mama. Lady Arabella may not be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. She is so scatterbrained. Always offer fancy research trips. We need stuff. We sound like we're making potato leek soup. Which sounds scrum diddly yum yum. 
that a clue? No, of course it's not. What did we come down here for? Oh, I guess we have that key now. All right, let's go to the kitchen. Actually, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. And we're going to run an ad. And I will be right back, okay? I'll put on some music for y'all. So you'll be happy little campers. And I will be right back. Back to la kitchen, la cucina. There's a gnat. More stained glass. Amazing. Kitchen, that's the painting room. What is this thing? Wisman Woods. Okay. Y'all lock your kitchen? I guess we should all be locking our kitchen. If you didn't, now you know. 
It's a big day for kitchens. I keep saying that. That's gonna be my new thing. I've been watching too much Half Moon Joe. This is my dream kitchen. Okay? I don't even care that I have to fire stoke the stoves. I want every single one of this these copper pots would cost me nine grand. Why? Because there's eight pots. The two spoons are the extra thousand. Okay? That's my dream. And then I want this. I mean, the plants are great, but I'd prefer we hang the pots from the ceiling. Are you seeing the vision? It's beautiful, okay? It's what we all need. Also, the audio might sound different because I noticed when I came back from stream that my computer mic and my standing mic were on, so... I hope it doesn't didn't sound weird before. This looks altery. It is a religious blessing, so... Blessed is this kitchen by grace and holy light. That's enough of that. What's this? Hazel's priceless recipes. Roasted chestnuts. This is a simple recipe perfect to warm those cold winter nights. You can use any edible chestnut. Are there non-edible chestnuts? Should we all be informed of these non-edible chestnuts? Something to think about. They have a tough shell, but luckily they're easy to crack open with the help of fire. Simply place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait until you hear a pop. This means that your chestnuts are nicely roasted. Okay. So we're gonna... We sure are. We're gonna crack this seed open, mama. And that's what that's for. Oh, look! It's that thing... What's his fate? Kyle broke? What's his name? It's probably not Kyle but you get the point. Oh, this is the place in the poster. How the moor was once covered in majestic forests and woods, and then they burned to the ground, didn't they? Yes, they sure did. It promised to be a fascinating story of how the moorland we know and love today came into existence. Wow. What's in the kindling? Dear lady, already hate it. Already hate that. We received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at present and have never admitted women to study at the college. Boo! Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. And... You're a jackass. By all means, continue to pursue your hobby, tending to your garden and domestic space where it may be appreciated. Listen at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. I'm about to maintain my domestic space the whole way up this man's ass cheeks. Are you kidding? I hate this John Alderingham you know it's bad if he's got a J name therefore with all politeness we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs little does he know I'm building a bomb <laughs> little does he know I will kill him for saying that Little does he know, I'm filled with rage. Oh, I think this is my favorite duck. I love blue and white. I'm in a phase right now. I'm sure it'll pass in like two years. But 
We like that. To someone special. Dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, you should like... Would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? These are the people who are leaving sandwiches on my patio. Okay, like I said, we must have spent all the money on the on the windows and we're not giving any to the staff. But I love that they're having this like Downton Abbey, Bridgerton staff love story. I love that for them. The duck. The duck and Mr. P. Probably closely genetically something. You know what I'm saying? We have so many pairs of muck boots. In my house, we call these muck boots. I don't know what y'all call them, but in my house, they're muck boots. And they're what you wear outside when it's gross out. Where you, you get your galoches. Or your muck boots. Wow, why are their downspouts like so fancy? Did gutters even exist in the 1800s? What? I don't know why I even give a shit. Wow. Is cherry wood really this red? Is it like red red? Or is it just, like, red? Also, what's happening over here? This birch wood I'm concerned about. Also, who put this spaghetti noodle here? It's for when we fail this game. You know, and we... You know. You know. What the fuck with the carrots? No wonder we not have nothing in this house. Home, smoking, and curing. This is for all y'all who want to kill people and make beef jerky. Just something to think about. What type of wood to use in your smokery is of great importance. The which one to pick depends entirely on your personal case. This house would sell on Zillow for $400,000. And it's the smoking house for this house. Just something to think about. Okay, is this the last clue? Oh my god, there's more! Oh, right. Forest... The smoking house. Still missing one. Hmm. Y'all ever hang up your blobs and smoke them? Why this? Why this thing? Like, this looks crazy. To hang up some sausages? Why are we doing this to the sausages? That's not food. That's a vague shape. You can't even say no. Who knows what she is? Who knows what is happening? Not I, standing on top of the fire right now. This became that episode of Spongebob. We have nine trench coats in this house. Ooh, is this the last thing we need? Ancient oaks. Okay. Is that our last clue? It sure is. Alright. You know what that means, y'all. Oh, we could, could we plant it outside before I walk? In this game, you do get approximately 70,000 steps. Is there no potting station out here? We put 45 of them around this house and we don't put one where it kind of makes logical sense? What the fuck is that about? 
what the actual fuck is that about? Oh, we haven't gone in here yet. There's another. Slap it on. Ten grand right there, everyone. Wow, do y'all like bunt cakes? We can make all the bunt cakes. Are you kidding? I'm about to pop off in this kitchen mixing some monkey bread. About to go crazy. Casual pot. Coffee grinder. That's what that is. Coffee grinder. What's that? Oh, it's the floor. I don't know why I'm just now realizing the floor is blue. Who, who gets these? Do you stand on this box to get them? Is that why this upside down stool's here? Oh, we do keep the ladder around. I don't know if y'all know this, but this place is disgusting. Who is not dusting this? Are you kidding me? In the kitchen? No, ma'am. No, sir, no, ma'am. Who is in charge around here? It's flapping in the wind. It's it's getting gust traction. It's so thick. Are you kidding? Who who did that? Oh, what's this? A drawer? A mysterious symbol. I love a puzzle. Oh, I love it so much. I also keep lit candles on top of wooden barrels of God knows what. That's why everything in the 17th century burned to the ground at least once. At least once. What are we doing? We're going to pot a flower. This game is so distracting. Pot. Up here. No, in the tray. Thank you. It's for aesthetic purposes. Boop. Water. Oh, it didn't pop up. Maybe we heat it up and then we water it? Is that how we're doing this? Oh no, it just does it. Okay. Fun! Oh, it got small again. Huh? Hello? Alright. You're going to jail. This is a jail. If they make a DLC, it will take them forever to come out with. Like, it took them... I'm telling you, like, I saw this game. What was it? Oak? Oak log. Give me that. I saw this game on a Nintendo Direct, I think, in 2022. I think it was 2022. And I got so excited for it. Because I love plants. I love puzzle games. I got so pumped for it. Put that there. We'll close the door. Close the door. Ah, close the door. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. We got another one. Oh. The ash plume is a pyrophile, evolved to survive harsh forest fires. Its seeds crack open with the extreme heat, and afterwards, the oak smoke from its habitat encases it. It's safe to bloom. Can we take it out in the light and look at it? Ooh, we got a delivery. I want to see it outside in the sunshine. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. They should have put little spots for you to put them. Like, to display them. But, yeah, I saw this game. 
and I knew I wanted it. And I thought about it for months and months, and then it never came out, and it never came out, and it never came out. Then I kind of forgot about it. And then maybe like, maybe around the new year, I was like, where the hell is this game that I saw on the Nintendo Direct? Did it flop? Like, did it never take off? Did it lose funding? I was like, what the hell happened to it? So I went to their website and it had like no update since like the year before. It still said that it was going to come out in 2023, but it was 2024 at that point. And so I was like, I guess this game is just never coming out. And then I think a couple weeks later, I like so happened to check their Twitter and they said that it was coming out the day it came out. And I was like, okay, thank God I've waited so long. So I'm sure I'll have to wait for chart for a DLC. But you know, if they made it, I'd buy it and play it as quickly as I played this. Dear Lady Green, what does that say? What's the top say? Iron? I don't know. We are pleased to deliver a new key for your orchard gate. We have, we hope you have enjoyed the gate. Don't hesitate to visit us again should we feel further metal work or decoration for your manor. He's like, you are rich as fuck. Please keep calling me. Now, why? This is what I don't understand. Every time I run a one minute ad break the first time, it tells me I have to run another one within 20 minutes to keep pre roll ads disabled. So right now, the pre-roll ads are on, which I hate, and I turn them off. Like, I don't have ads on at all, but then when I run ad breaks, it turns them on. What? I don't understand that. And I hate the pre-roll ads for people, because no one wants to watch a pre-roll ad. No, not that way. Like, people want to hang out. I'm just going to run the ad because I'm pretty sure it's just Aaron and I here. And he's subscribed, so. We're walking over to the orchard anyways. It's not exciting. Yeah, so now it says they're disabled for 21 minutes. So every time I choose to run an ad break like that, they turn them back on. Unless I run a one minute ad every 20 minutes. Twitch. Dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I have gathered a ch selection of my cherished toys and books. Among them, my beloved piggy. Piggy. I recommend. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They are charming as well as educational. Though I'll take no offense should they put your little one straight to sleep. Oh my God! These are for my niece. I wrote this letter. My sister has a baby, and I gave it my pig. It's so cute. The wolf glove. Is that one of our flowers? Pixie tears, wolf glove. That's it. Okay. High on the mountain top, so steep, grows a flower that's hard to keep. Its petals, delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistles as they try. 
to find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit, cheeks aglow. With every step, they hear it loud, the wind glows howl, wolf gloves howl, clear and proud, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Okay, so that's going to be for this. Shoot! See? Oh, a note. Good, good, good. Dearest Arabella, you... Uh, how are you getting on in your garden? I hope it's not getting to be too much for you on your own these days. Our mutual friend mentioned you have been struggling to germinate your ash plume. Have you tried making sure it's fresh? there's fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need that to grow. I'll visit you sometime and perhaps I can find a way to crack the seed for you. Is that not my last thing that I did? The ash plume? And we put it in the stove or whatever. Esquire. Why is a lawyer giving us advice on gardening? Shut up. I hate men. What are we doing in this game? This is a girl's world. Okay, this is my Barbie botanist world. Both seeds. Got them. This is where we're going to bring this man, and we're going to him with that scythe right there. Ooh, more beakers. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I have found the following amounts to work best with my different pots. Imagine you're so rich. Just have all terracotta pots. That's so nice. Ooh, another book. The Heritage Orchard. I actually found out at my last uh, place I lived that, like, fruit trees, well, all plants actually just have, like, a finite life to them but like you can take care of your plant as much as you want and it will still need it will still just die at a certain age just has like finite life there was a peach tree in my backyard and it was just old and dead what are we growing Let's see. Pixie Tears and Wolf Glove. Are either of those on here? Oh, these are the apples. Sugar. Sugar. Apples. Apples. Okay. I'm going back. Just for a little. Just to... There's a lot to explore here. Our house. We're so rich. It's crazy. What's this? Chloroplast! Y'all, it's... It's ninth grade biology, okay? I don't remember my ninth grade biology teacher's name, but it was a man. He was awesome. He was the wrestling coach. And him and his wife did IVF and they had twin daughters. I remember that. And I remember being like, what the hell is IVF? And he explained that to me when I was like 14 years old. He was so cool. I wish I knew what his name was. I'm sure my friend Allie knows what his name was. In the world of plants, the sun 
I think I'll think of it, like, in my sleep tonight at 2 in the morning. Yes. A frappe cannot be iced, but that was good. Like a, a PGT. There's, like, a weird subgroup of people who will call it a PGT, a peach green tea from from Starbucks that's so weird to me like just do do whatever i guess in the world of plants the sun is the ultimate source of energy chloroplast small organelles inside the cells of a plant are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis science lesson everyone however not all plants have chloroplast some plants rely on organic matter for their energy and do not photosynthesize. They have lost their chloroplasts over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through their roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating these particular plants. Okay. I, I know, like, especially, like, this would have been their daughters were like very close to my age so they would have been doing this back in the 90s or early 2000s when I feel like people just like weren't talking about it like I know people were doing it perfect for preparing microscope slides Ooh. but I think it's cool now that they that he just like offered that information up to us high schoolers we had no concept of what that was we also grew up in the middle of nowhere how would we know what that was foxglove that's our other one cute primrose spring dance shrub Hyacinth. Here's our other one. Pixie tears. Oh, okay. No chloroplasts in that. So we need to add sugar from the apples. You see? You see? Okay, let's... Let's... Let's do... Okay, so... Pot to tell us how much we add. The... Chloroplast book to tell us what chloroplasts are. The microscope slides to tell us that... Pixie Tears has no... Chloroplasts. And now we need to add sugar. The apple blending to tell us how much sugar. And the sign... To tell us which apples are which. You get that? Who can take me? Alright. We only have these pots up here in the upper right. So... 97 grams. Let's do it. We're doing grams because we're in England. I don't know if y'all know this, but we're in England... We're British. What did they say? 97? And so we're going to be British and do this in grams. Because what the fuck is an ounce? Okay, so which one of these? Alright, so we're going to have to add them together. I need a pen. I have this fancy. Can y'all see this? This fancy Frank Lloyd Wright pen that my mother got me from the Frank Lloyd Wright house. I love it. We also go have airplane pencil. And disco pen. Party pen, as I like to call it. Just so you know, the party never stops around here. Okay, what are we getting to? 97? Please tell me 97's right. Um. 
what goes to 97? If I take 27 out, that makes it 70. So I could do Merlin's Mist. That makes it 70. Then I'd need a 30 and a 40. Oh, yeah. And a cat's head. And a knobby russet. Right? 40 and 30 is 70. 80, 97. And I, I feel like it was 97. I should have wrote that down first. Okay. Over to this thing. What do we need? A knobby russet. The first one, warts, cat's head, just all green, and a Merlin mist. Ooh, blue, green, that's easy to remember. No, put that back. Put that back. With the blue one. I really wish in this game they allowed you to have two hands. Blue? Oh yeah. Green. I hope you don't have to sit those like directly in the middle. And cystic acne. On it. I know I keep slouching. Let me live. Oh, we need the plant. Duh. Oh, we need the plant. Let's go do it. And then we've done what? Four? Five? How many have we done? Soil. Plant. Water. Is it white? Is that the lighting or is it white? Aaron and I are trying to grow these white tomatoes, and I think if we move, we're going to have to sacrifice them, and that's really sad. I really want to see them grow. All right. Time to squish it. This makes me think of those TikTok videos where they put that, like, compressor thing and they squish stuff. The butterflies, like it's Encanto! Oh my god. I love that it's white. That feels racist. I just meant that it has all- it, and it's like that because it has no chloroplast, you know? It's like a- it's like an albino plant. I don't mean that in a bad way. You know what I mean. Nobody clip that. How many plants have we done now? One, two, three, four. Yeah. We're on fire. We'll do the last one that we have in this area, and then we'll call that a day for today. Did I get? I feel like we need to go this way. Did we look at everything in here? Did that. <gasps> A sheep. That's Sean the sheep right there, y'all. Look at it looking right at us. Okay, queen. Gotta go. Oh, what's this? Orchard mosaic. I wish this was a puzzle. An illustrated history of England for scholars, advanced classes, and the discerning reader. Priest holes.
Okay. 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 Back in the Middle Ages, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were persecuted by law. Is that true? I thought the church was Catholic. Am I dumb? Therefore, some households built secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting their family home. Why are they making house calls? I thought they lived in churches. Many of these so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location. Because of this, it is thought that there may been undiscovered priest holes. Okay, pop off, sis. That's what they're going to be calling the gay nightclubs now. They're going to be calling it the priest hole. Okay. And instead of taking communion, you take poppers at the beginning. That sounds so fun. Lady Arabella, thank you for inviting me to Botany Manor last Monday. Was I even here? I thought I was traveling. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see an authentic medieval manor, especially one as beautiful as yours. Well, thank you, but my staff are absolutely letting it go to shit. It's insane. I apologize again for not being... Oh, I was going to read the back. Able to locate the priest hole in your house. Does this not sound like the plot of a porn? Like, we invited the professor over to look for the priest hole in our house. No, just me. It won't be easy. They tend to be hidden well and sometimes require elaborate mechanisms to be open. Well, isn't that why I brought you here? I hope we didn't pay that man. This is where we plotted the murder of that man. Sit. Look how nicely mulched all our trees are. And our great downspout. This house is great. Really. What the hell happened here? I have received a request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower. Alas, I must confess that I am not the man to undertake this task. It may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchard is known to locals as the Turbulent Tower. It is believed that a poltergeist dwells within its walls. Legend says that the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds upon anyone who dares enter the tower. I don't want to provoke the wrath of this ghost. And I advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower. Little do you know, Willie, that I watched Scooby-Doo growing up. Okay? I'm not afraid of nothing. I watched Scooby-Doo growing up. The live-action Scooby-Doo to be exact, Mama. What's happening in here? They say there's a ghost. Stupid fucking prequel ads. I'm playing another ad. What's this? Broken... Anemometer? Is that how you say that? We're learning so many big words today. Alright, nothing. No ghosts yet. Power wind research. Somehow my 
and Mommet are broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. Something to think about. The Mountaineer's Guide to Alpine Exploration. Be sure to wear the correct gear when climbing. The winds in the Alps can be fierce and changeable. It is advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots with a good grip. What kind of clothes do you think they were wearing mountain hiking in 1890? I bet it served. I bet it was so cunty. I bet it served, really. Pressure and wind speed. Okay. Good to know. Is this locked? Thank God. What the fuck happened here? What the fuck happened here? Who died? They won't even let me just jump over it. It's my house. Ooh, now we can go back. Very nice, very nice. More keys laying around. The painting room. Lady Arabella, as you can see, the staircase of the orangery collapsed in your absence. I see that, Dale, or whatever the fuck your name is. Can you see the stair- uh, I have already written to the builder. Willie? The guy who's afraid of my wind tower? This place is in shambles. I've already written to the builder in the hopes that we sort it out, though as you know, we can it can be difficult to pin down. I do apologize this is getting in the way of your research. I don't suppose you could find another way into the bottom level. Well, you bet your ass I will. Because you broke my fucking stairs. Not taking care of my orange tree. Did we write so much stuff. Texting could never. We made it to the Alps. We are so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand you are busy creating your herbarium. Yesterday we were lost on a hike until suddenly we heard a strange whistling tune. We followed the sound and soon enough we discovered it was coming from a tiny flower. If only you had been there to tell us what kind of flower it was. Oh. Where'd they say they were? The Alps? Okay. And this is the envelope it came in. Okay. Well, there's nothing on it telling besides the stamp, so... Don't forget what the stamp looks like. I guess we'll go to the painting room? Is this the painting room? Thank god. Alright. What's in here? Manor floor plan. Very nice. Behind the door. All our canvases. Meadow Orchids Research Team, 1862. John Montag and Montag, husband and wife, researching orchids. That's true love. Robert Brown and me. And me. Boy, girl, boy, girl. Dear Ms. Green, your research proposal on the structure of coastal plants was of quaint interest. Are we going to get sassed by another man right now? We have no plans to fund a small project like this, but perhaps if you are set on botanical fieldwork, you might assist Professor Montag in his work on British meadow orchids. I am sure your natural aptitude for domestic duties would be much appreciated. Might I also recommend John Lindsay's book, Ladies Botany, or A Familiar Introduction to the Study of the Natural System of Botany. Fucking shut the fuck up. 
J.W. It is an elementary book for unscientific readers, and one I have heard is suitable amusement for ladies such as yourself. I'm gonna drop kick all the men in 1890 through the fucking wall with my feminist rage. I swear to fucking God. He said, Go garden. Well, guess what? I'm rich. Of course I can garden. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I was wondering if I could join Mr. Bennett into town later this afternoon to get the skill. I thought our mortar was broken. What we have is rather ancient, and I'm afraid it's not suitable for measuring flour to make my delicious scone. It's not suitable because you haven't cleaned it. Because did you see the nine inches of cobwebs that are on it? It's disgusting. It's foul. It's nasty. Also, I thought the other thing was broken. Symbology. Okay. So, the, the goat, the goat, that's in the kitchen is about Catholicism. Y'all remember that goat? Remember? Next to the cobwebby scale? Okay. It had the symbol for Catholicism on it. Alright. And? And what? Not the goat. Did I paint this? Okay, Bob Ross, pop off. Something else over here. Okay. This. My dearest Arabella, in garden fair, you grace the scene of flower rare. Your presence beams with radiant light. The lily's charm so pure and white. Your hands like petals soft and fine, in tender touch a love divine, and in your eyes a brilliance glows, as daisies fair in spring's repose. Oh, how I long to have you near, to cherish you, my heart sincere. Like roses freshly cut you'd be, the trophy of my home, with glee. Who wrote this? Did someone write that about me? We should frame it. That was something I wrote it, plot twist. I wrote it about myself. Plot twist. I wrote it about myself. Um, I don't know what to do. Um,. I'm gonna go look at the symbol in the kitchen again. I don't really know what else to do. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely that thing. The Thalus. The religious blessing? It says BBL. We have to get all the Catholic priests a BBL. Or a BLT. One or the other. Maybe both. And then that's how we solve the mystery. That's how we find out who killed Queen Elizabeth. That's the game. <laughs> Blessed is this kitchen by grace and holy light. May all those who enter find comfort and reprite. Blessed is the hearth with laughter, with cheer. May the love shared here be held forever dear. To those who serve the Lord, who seek their sanctuary, remember the year of construction, for this, friends, is the key. 
They didn't want to make the last line rhyme. Really? Really, we gave up on the rhyming on the last line of the poem? Do we really think that that was the move? I know what to do. We're going to go look at that floor plan again. Because you know what I noticed? The scale don't work. And it's got four spaces on it. Constructed is the key. 1593. You picking up what I'm putting down? You picking up what I'm putting down? Catholicism? What y'all know about a genuflection? happening is it nice to watch it through this format period sis period sis is it nice to watch like I guess it's I'm sure it's different to watch as someone just watching it rather than playing it but I definitely just feel like it's so peaceful and like interesting, you know? We just discovered Hogwarts. I don't know if y'all know this, but we just discovered Hogwarts. Oh my God, it's a dead duck. It's spooky duck. What about the flower that we were trying to figure out how to grow? How the hell did we end up in here? My lord. Oh my god. We need, for once, my lord Grain, thou hast ventured mightily in granting me refuge within these walls, and for such favor I remain eternally indebted to thee. Wouldn't it be thou? No, I have no idea. Don't listen to me. The cunting of little John in his establishment of this sanctuary doth inspire awe. That's what they're going to write on my tombstone. Cunting inspired awe. Play. Moving on. A saint he is to our brethren and sisters who have sought refuge from the harsh role, rule of Queen Elizabeth and King James. Pray, extended my gratitude unto thy cook for the sustenance provided. A welcome respite from Brother Michael's oft-repeated fare of leeks and potatoes. He's the one out there making leeks and potato soup. Because it's so bright. Right? That's why. Right. It's okay. With the most earnest of thanks, I retreat that this ma missive shall not mark our final communion, and that our faith may endure unbroken. With yours with devotion, R. Blount. I wonder if these are real people. And this is a true story. Is this a biography? You think that goes outside? What if it rains? What if someone looks down and finds you? Where's this go? Can I find another way into the orangery? What can't I do? What can't I do? And we got the seed. This is about the tower, the wind. The other weird thing about this game is like, if you finish one flower, you know the rest of this goes with this. So like, why do we keep throwing shit away? 
Hold on. I'll get it. I'll get it. The Society of Botanical Science meets every second and fourth Wednesday from 6 o'clock at the Assembly Room in Stroud. A prospective applicant must be supported by three existing gentlemen of the Society along with evidence or research showing his dedication to the advancement of the science of botany. Widows of existing fellows receive honorary membership to attend annual social events. This is exhausting. The misogyny of the 1890s. Aw, we're in the Lady Mountaineers Club. That's fun. They are wearing cute outfits to go up the mountain. I'm Me having to use this stick to navigate this is going to be my 13th reason. That's the stamp. Weisshorn, Switzerland? Okay. Where's Weisshorn, Switzerland? The Alps of Weihorn, Switzerland. Weiss. Hold on. How do we get back up there? More stuff? Oh my god. I'm gonna forget. Shh. Who can take me? Who needs- The men in this game sass me so much and I'm over here fixing my own damn stairs. Thank God this game came out in the time of the Barbie movie. This is what we needed. The day marks the beginning of an intriguing adventure as I join Professor John Montag, his wife Anne, and fellow botanist Robert Brown on our field trip to study British meadow orchids. Everyone's enthusiasm for the subject is infectious. Today, Professor Montag gathered all of us to examine a southern marsh orchid, Though upon arrival, I noticed it had a much more hooded appearance and could be a new species entirely. When I pointed this out, Professor Montag laughed and explained he was simply testing us. Again. What? I'm gonna kill every single man in this book. Do any of these say, like, Weisshorn, Switzerland? That one's from Scotland. What does this mean? What? Okay, so this is the stamp from where they sent the letter. Weisshorn, Switzerland. So, and they said they were in the Alps. Let's go up and look. Let's go look at the letter again. I think what we need to do... Because, see, this is the stamp. So the stamp came from Weisshorn, Switzerland. Because, God forbid, Natty put a return address on this bitch. And then, it says the Alps. And they just found it there, so... Oh, God. We're zooming. I wish I could pick that up and fork every man in this game. All right. And Weissman is not on here. Oh, Mount Weishorn. Is that what it said? Weishorn? 
Mount Wisehorn 40. Is there a 40 mile per hour one on this? I'm going to run another ad break because it keeps turning my pre-roll ads back on. My bad. All right, let's try the 40. I think that's right. I could be totally wrong. And then... It's left, close, open, open, close. Left, close, open, open, close. The other confusing thing about this... I'll show you. Alright, you're gonna go in here. What did it say? Left? Alright, we're going up. Is the pictures from the other way. So if you want the left one open... You gotta open the right one because the pictures on the page are from the outside. Pictures on the page are from the outside, but you're looking, you're doing it from the inside. So because we want left, what was it? Left? I took a picture. Left flows. Open. Open. And then the top stays closed. And then it should... Who can take me? It looks like that duck Pokemon. I never added the last clue! Oh my god. The wolf glove grows in Mount Wisehorn where the weather is just right. When the wind hits its tubular petals, a howling sound can be heard. Mountaineers are familiar with this flower and use it to navigate on foggy days. That's so cute. There we go. It's so cute! And a gate delivery. Fun! Alright, y'all. I think that's where we're gonna stop, because I think we're about halfway through the game. Believe it or not. Because we just finished chapter... We just finished chapter three. Crazy! Crazy! In two hours, we finished three chapters of this game. I think this is just going to be a little two-parter. Maybe if I have time Thursday, I'll stream it a little more, but God knows my life has been chaotic recently. So. We will see. So we'll start. We'll end. I'm going to take y'all back to the beautiful entrance of this house. Because it's just too good. We got to pass our favorite growing egg bush. Head out this way. Is this game not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I mean, truly. It is just... Ugh. Magical. It's amazing. So, I think y'all... I'm gonna leave y'all with this view. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for the follows, the subs... And thank y'all for sticking around with this weird streaming schedule. 
I love that y'all show up, that you watch my YouTube videos. I can't thank you enough for it. It's always fun to be here. Have a good night, y'all. And I will see you sometime again soon. Bye!